I mean, shit real out here. Shit real life. What up? We out here trying to get So I'm back in that Smyrna city, y'all. <laughs> Came back yesterday. And yeah, been chilling ever since. Um, today's Sunday. We got a family, important family member's wedding to go to today. So um, right away, I'm gonna go to the hair salon for the first time here this this vacation this time um, I'm gonna get my hair done just wash and curled and hopefully they do a decent job I did get my hair done in 2012 and I don't remember exactly how it turned out but we shall see um, yeah the shitty part is they're gonna definitely be washing my hair with cold ass water because they know freak I don't know I guess they don't think of boiling water I don't know I'll be surprised if the water is warm though and yeah, and look at this, y'all. I bought some Pringles yesterday. Mm -mm -mm. Sour cream and onion. And it's all Arabic, made in Belgium. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get her married and go to this wedding. And that's that. So, so just finished getting ready for this wedding. <laughs> y'all should have seen my hair when I left the hair salon. Like, I just. It's not like I'm surprised, so it's not like I shouldn't I shouldn't say I couldn't believe it, but I still just it pissed me off, you know. Anyways, it's all good. It's not like people in Winnipeg know how to do hair either. Like for real, for real, my hairdresser is the only good experience I've had when it comes to hair. So back in Winnipeg, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it was crazy. Like they don't know how to do anything. They don't know how to straighten. The way they were even doing it, the way her hand was holding the strainer oh my gosh the good thing is she was a very nice woman but dang 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 anywho i'm done now i'm getting i'm done getting ready it's the best i can look f it i'm not i didn't even do my makeup so proper just mascara like my usual um when i get back to winnipeg i'm definitely gonna be um having a whole vlog on uh how to do makeup it's the professional way so i'm gonna oh my gosh my hair is still so bad like look at this Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna go fix that up again. Uh, but yeah, I was supposed to do a vlog on makeup before I left Asmara, but of course, you know, not everything goes the way you want it to go. So when I get back to Winnipeg, I'll definitely be doing a whole vlog on makeup. Um, you know, the whole, I don't know, whatever they do these days on their face makes, makes it look so nice, you know? Give you cheekbones and all that. The way I've been doing makeup these days is like, the way I do my makeup is like how a great eater does makeup. So I have a lot to learn, you feel me? So, these damn flies. <sighs> so that's that. We're about to head to the wedding soon. The rest of the family is getting ready. Check out my dress, y'all. <laughs> Some Habesha Kudan. You know. You like it, you like it? Um, yeah, I guess that's that. I'm gonna go fix the rest of my hair. Like, look at this shirt right here. I'll fix this up. And then uh, we're, we're gonna head to the wedding real soon. So, yeah. I'll show you guys some clips of the wedding. This will be interesting. You know, I've been to a wedding once, definitely not Samara, in 2012. <laughs> it was so ghetto, so ghetto. So hopefully this one's a little better. We'll see. It's all new to me, just like you, most, most of you. So, stay tuned. Mom? 
what's a party without a cat? We have a special guest, of course, an animal. Nasty cat.
just getting home from a restaurant that is called Ala Scala. Ala Scala Hotel. It's actually a hotel, but there's a restaurant attached to it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I highly recommend you go. If you're in Asmara, definitely check out that restaurant. Man, it was it was so good and the lady actually who owns it, she came from Italy. So you know, you know it's going to be good food. Um and yeah, apparently she came from Italy and now she owns the whole hotel and the whole restaurant, the bar and everything. So that's so dope, some boss shit right there. So yeah, it was so good. I ordered some fish, but it had like breading on, breading, you know, the whole thing was breaded. So yeah, I showed you guys a clip of it. Catholic, something fish. Anyways, which what it means is that it's breaded. The whole thing is breaded. So it was amazing. I'm definitely gonna go one more time with my mom before I leave, which is in a week exactly from today. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> a week, y'all. I'm so excited to get out of here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that's about it. And right now, I just got home, so I'm about to take off this makeup and put my pajamas on and then I don't know if they're gonna be making bunna, I don't know. These guys like to sleep early and wake up early. I don't even know what's up with that, man. Complete different lifestyle than me. Cause I like to stay up late and wake up decent time. 
So, yeah. Tomorrow, what do we have planned, Mom? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I gotta go buy a couple more things for people, if, you know, before I get out of here. Um, I also wanna take a picture at the photo place, which I do every time I come to Asmara. I take a photo with some cultural clothes, you know what I mean? Traditional, traditional stuff. And yeah, tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see what tomorrow brings me, but for now, I'm gonna take off these pajamas. I mean, put my pajama on, take off this makeup, and see what the fam is trying to do. So yeah, good night, y'all. I mean, like he's gonna beat me up. Huh? Idiot. Let's go. 
You're trying to get it in this limited time. See, I just want it so bad. Live this life nobody would have thought I'd ever have. Worked on my mind, did the grind. Now I'm thanking God for the changes and the places I've traveled at. 